Greetings and thank you for joining with us throughout this week where we've been talking about God's principle, the divine principle of sowing and reaping, something He's put on the earth, which He said, uh, seed time and harvest, as long as the earth remains, this principle of seed time and harvest will always keep on working. And God Himself is watching over this to make it good in our life. I want to bring our attention today to sowing finances. It's very interesting that uh, in the New Testament, we see this in the Old, but I'm focusing today on, on a passage in the New Testament, 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 11, the Apostle Paul uh, brings this idea of sowing and reaping when it comes to money and giving money. He says, he uses this language in verses 6 through 11 of 2 Corinthians 9, he who sows sparingly also reaps sparingly. He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have abundance for every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness while you're enriched in everything for all liberality, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. Very interesting. He's actually talking about money. He started talking about that in chapter eight and he continues this in chapter nine about giving uh, towards the work of God's kingdom. And he's saying, when you are giving, you do it out of your own heart, do it generously, uh, uh, but you are actually sowing. And if you sow, you're going to reap. And he says, God will make all the grace abound toward you. God will multiply the seeds that you sow. God will uh, increase the fruits of what you've sown. So think about this. When you give into God's kingdom, financially, you give for the work of God's kingdom, you give to your local church, you give to a Christian ministry, you give to a Christian minister, and you're doing it because you're, for the sake of God's kingdom. That is you sowing seed. That money that you released is seed you've sown. And Paul says, God will multiply the seeds you've sown. He'll cause all grace abound to you that you'll have so much, you'll have no lack, and you'll be able to abound to every good work. And it will cause thanksgiving to God. That means other people are going to be so blessed, they'll give thanks to God because of your generosity or liberality. So let's practice these things. That every time you give, you understand you're sowing. And seed time always leads into a harvest. A harvest is always a multiplication. Set this in motion in your life. Keep on sowing, keep on sowing. You don't know when the harvest will come, but you keep on sowing. Wherever you get, sow kindness, uh, sow finances, sow to the Spirit, keep on sowing. And God will keep bringing the harvest back into your life. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us Engage this principle of seed time and harvest in our life. That you are the God of the harvest. You're the God who multiplies it back into our life. In your own appointed time, you reserve the weeks of harvest for us. And we look to you. Help us to walk by this principle. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.